Salut! It's Monica and today is gonna be possibly an emotional video. It has been one month since I moved from New Hampshire all the way to Texas and it has been a bit of a learning curve. So to start off just gonna talk about you know why I would move to Texas. So one of my roommates was my college roommate and they moved down to Texas from New Hampshire as well in 2020 and ever since then has been trying to get me to move down but financially it just wasn't feasible for me to do it but I have visited them twice while they were down here in Texas so I've already you know known a little bit of the area and so finally they asked again mainly jokingly and I said yeah no I can now I can I'm financially in a place where I could and so we have another roommate, one of their friends, and my friends, um, Avery. So we are, you know, living together now, but we were looking, we didn't want to rent an apartment. We wanted to rent a house. So we were looking at houses to rent. We got one. As you can tell, I'm here. And so very happy about that. And I don't have a car. The car that I would drive is up in New Hampshire. It's with my mom because she needs to use it uh, for Caden. So, you know, I had made that decision already. So it wasn't like something that changed last minute, but I wasn't going to be driving down here. So I knew I had to fly. I couldn't bring everything on a plane with me. <laughs> that would require like a private plane and I don't have the money for that. And so I shipped a lot of my stuff down. I had to put the majority of my things in like a, a box uh, through U-Haul and then they shipped it down to Texas. And then once I arrived here, they brought it to the house and I emptied it. But so I did that. And so for two weeks, basically like two weeks, two and a half weeks, I was living out of like two suitcases and very few clothes you know, of just my things. Uh, so that was definitely fun to do. Uh, just having like so little things in my room. But it, you know, I was still, you know, with my family and that, you know, I still felt okay, even though I was sleeping on the couch because I stupidly threw my mattress out because it was old, but I could have just kept it until I left. Uh, I bought a new mattress though and had it delivered to Texas. Then I flew down here. I had to fly out of Boston because I wanted a non-stop flight and I also bought a premium like first class seat because I had Luke with me uh, and he was going to be in my lap with me. I wasn't going to put him down in the cargo area. So uh, we, in order to have all of those you know aspects I had to fly out of Boston but flew from from Boston to Dallas I don't live in Dallas but I'm not gonna tell you where in Texas I live even though it's a big state but flew down here and it was I arrived at like 10 at night and by the time baggage claim got me my two suitcases and I got into M's car because they picked me up at the airport it was like 11 o'clock and then you know getting here we stopped to get something to eat because I was hungry <laughs> I haven't really eaten on the plane and by the time we got to the house it was like close to midnight and so nothing really sunk in yet and then the next morning I woke up and I was just in my room laying on my new mattress with Luke and I just looked at, you know, my suitcases just sitting there. And I got hit with such a big wave of emotions that I wasn't back home, I wasn't with my family, I was somewhere new, I was somewhere different. And it was a lot to take in right away, especially for somebody with anxiety and depression and who hates change and who is very close with their family, you know, both proximity wise and you know emotionally so it was a lot 
and for about the first two weeks, week and a half, I cried every day. I video chatted my family every day, but they were always willing to to message me and just let me cry and my roommate M was willing to let me cry. Avery was in Japan uh, and got back like two weeks ago, um, I believe, or no, like a week ago, got back um, from like the time of recording this. It's been like a week uh, since, since she got back. So, you know, M was really there the first you know, two weeks really helping me feel more comfortable and feel more, you know, happy here, even though I knew I was going to be happy moving here. So it's been a lot. I'm grieving my old normal and creating my new normal. So I'm allowing myself to be sad when I get sad. If I need to cry, I allow myself to cry, but I haven't cried in a little bit, even though yesterday, as of recording this, yesterday was officially one month that I had moved, and I didn't cry at all yesterday, so I'm counting that as progress. <laughs> I'm excited to see, like, what memories I can make here. We're already talking about uh, a convention to go to later in the year, and talking about uh, what cosplays we could do, so you know, already looking at things here and then I'm going to be finishing my master's soon. I'm about to start my last class ever for my master's, which is crazy to think. I'll, I'll walk for graduation. So because I, I go through Southern New Hampshire University online, so I will be going back up to New Hampshire to do my graduation. So I'll be able to see my family then. And, you know, having just other memories with my friends down here in Texas and, you know, family and friends from New Hampshire say they want to come down and visit me while I'm here. So, you know, excited for all the memories and experiences that Texas can bring to me. And I'm either going to stay here just one year and move back after a year, or I'll stay for like three years until I'm 30. Because I do want to go back to New Hampshire. That's where I want to like fully set down my roots in a way, just where I've always wanted to live the majority of my life. But I think being down here in Texas will definitely help me, you know, gain more independence, which I definitely have been doing, allowing myself to be alone more often. And then I still have my hobbies. So as of this video, you'll have seen, you know, I'm still reading. I've got my Legos still here. I'm going to be getting more Legos. I have another set that I haven't done yet that I'm going to do. I'm really excited about that one. And then uh, I've been playing a lot on my Switch, mainly Animal Crossing and Disney Dreamlight Valley, but also the game Gris, which is this beautifully, beautifully artistically crafted game with gorgeous music that brings you through the five stages of grief and you know through colors and you know metaphors and these little like sort of puzzles that you have to do with your little character to like get them to move forward so i've been playing that more i'm gonna try and finish my book i have been taking walks once a week to a park that's close by because while i am 27 I know a lot of people are my age or older and still play it, but I still play Pokemon Go. And there's a Pokemon gym at a park that is a few minutes walk from my house. So once a week, I will walk to that park and just, you know, play a little Pokemon Go when I'm there. And other days of the week, I have other things that I do, you know, whether it's cleaning or uh, doing D&D with my friends or just video chatting people. If it's like, oh, we both you know, have a few hours, we're free, let's let's chat. My mom used to love sitting with me while I played Animal Crossing on the TV. Uh, so what we've been doing is I have my tripod and I have, I have this little tool. So I stick my phone on here and I will video chat her and point the phone at the TV so she can still watch me play and we can still chat. So definitely enjoying that and I'm enjoying setting up my room and decorating because even though I did have stuff on my walls, I really didn't decorate much in my old apartment even though I was there for three years with my sister. I didn't really decorate much. So 
<laughs> uh, definitely trying to put more thought into how I'm going to decorate here. I'm, I already have plans of things that I want to get. I'm just in between paychecks. So, and by that I mean next payday is coming up. I still have my job. My job allows me to work remotely from Texas. So I'm very happy about that too. And so just decorating my room, hanging up pictures and posters and all that. So just enjoying creating this new normal for me and for Luke because there's four cats total in this house. He's not used to that. <laughs> um, you know, but I mean, before I got him, he lived with dogs. So like he's, and he moved a lot with my aunt because he used to belong to my aunt. So he's definitely had his fair share of, of moves and different experiences, but I'm glad that he's with me and he's still doing really well. We've gone to a vet here in Texas. They've, you know, he's still healthy. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. I love you. He glaring at me. A big thank you to my friends and family who during this transitional period in my life have allowed me to just cry on on FaceTime or talk to them at any given moment uh, as well as some of my co-workers who are my friends who you know are just willing to chat with me while we're working at you know any time. So really happy and thankful that I have them in my life, the ones that I have here in Texas and the ones that are, you know, back up in New Hampshire. Really, really happy for them. And then for you guys who have supported me, I've noticed an increase in subscribers recently. So thank you very much for that. Um, and for enjoying my content enough that you want to see more. Uh, you know, your support is very much appreciated. If there's ever a type of content that you want to see me do, let me know. Allow yourself grace and grief whenever you need it and know that there's never a right or wrong place to have emotions or be sad. Thank you for watching this and letting me just ramble nonsensically to you guys but I think I'm gonna go read because I did some homework already today um, for my current class so I think I'm gonna go read for a little bit but I will see you guys in another new video soon. A pianto!